Hi, my name's Ollie. Thank you for joining me today for Saracen Sport Foundation's hashtag Together Active video series. Today we're going to be doing seated activity part two. So before we get into the activities, we need to get this off nice and warm. So we're going to start off with some nice gentle warm-ups. We're going to start off nice and wide, bring our arms back round, and really squeeze those shoulders together. Just going all the way out, keeping ourselves nice and tall. And wrapping around. We're going to go out, back to the middle, and out again. Changing angles each time. Keeping ourselves as tall as possible. This also is part of our stretching routine. We're doing some dynamic stretches as well as getting ourselves warmed up. And let's bring those arms round. And back. Shake it out. For the activities today, you can use a range of different equipment. You can use water bottles, or you can just do it with your, your body weight. For me, I'm going to be using my lovely pink and purple weights as I did in the first video. Our first activity is going to be wide pulls. This is something we did in that first video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Starting off with our arms nicely out in front of us, pulling back level, and then lifting up. It's a nice smooth action. Pulling back, lifting up, keeping yourself nice and tall. If you're struggling with balance, you can do it one arm at a time. And lift up and then you can change arms out back and lift up you can also sit against your backrest or sit against your uh, the back of your sofa either or i'm going to be doing it with two arms but you can adapt it however you want to do so long as you're following the same action as best you can perfect what I want to do is I want to see you doing that 10 reps, 3 sets, that's 30 in total. For our second activity we're going to be doing an adapted form of a kettlebell movement. Now a traditional kettlebell movement is in front of you, lifting up, Okay, that's the standard kettlebell, kettlebell movement. We're going to be doing it one arm at a time, so you're leaning down and lifting one arm up at a time. And lifting up. And bringing that arm up nice and high. If you don't have that core control, you can sit back against your backrest and just bring that arm up forward like that. This is a lot easier to do because you end up with more clearance around the sides. You can be, if you're a wheelchair user, you can be in a day chair, you can sit in a dining room chair, or you can either do this uh, on the side of your sofa. I'm going to change arms. And just swing that out. Again, you can do this with body weight or water bottles. I'm using these little weights. Just bringing that arm out. Very good. I want to see you do that 10 times, three sets, have a break, and another three sets. We're doing 60 in total, so we're balancing out both arms. Activity three is curls. We did this in the last video. You can either do this one arm at a time or two arms together. I'm going to do it one arm only. I want to start off with my palm facing outwards, gripping the weight on the water bottle. You can do it body weight as well. And it's a full range of movement. So I want to go from completely extended all the way up to my shoulder. It's a nice easy movement all the way down and all the way up. It's important to get that full range of movement, to get the full benefit of the exercise. I'm going to switch over, coming up. Nice, easy movement. We're not going too fast, but just a nice, slow, easy movement. I want you to do 10 reps on each arm. Okay, so make sure that the weight is appropriate if you're using dumbbells. 10 reps on each arm. Three sets, that's 60 in total once you've done both arms. We're now going to move on to a new activity, it's shoulder press. 
So I want you to start with both arms. You can do it again, one arm at a time. Driving up, hold, and just dropping back down. Trying to meet in the middle at the top. Dropping down and driving up. Lovely. If you're struggling with that activity, don't use weights. Just hold them to one side of the chair and just bring an arm up as far as you can. You can also bring your arms out if you don't have the full range of movement or a shoulder injury. Okay? But what I want you to do is five reps. Nice and easy. Sitting back against the backrest of your chair. That's two, three, four, and five. I want you to do that three sets. Okay? So it's only 15. If you feel like you can push further, do a few more, but that's completely up to you. We're going to move into an activity and an exercise that's a bit more dynamic now. You can either use your weights, water bottles, or body weight. I'm going to use the weights for this one. It's boxer size. So we're going to start with a nice, easy jab. Okay, we're just extending our arm out, tucking the other arm in, and holding our core. Keeping ourselves nice and tall. If you want to, you can sit back against your backrest and lean back, give you that stability, and just drive those arms out. We're going to do this, or what I want you to do at home, I want you to do this for a minute, okay, or go for as long as you can, up to a minute. Have a break, and give yourself a decent amount of time for the break, and then we're going to do one more minute. So you can do two minutes of this in total, okay. You can break that down into 30 second chunks if you wish but I want you to try and do one minute in total, have a good break, and then do one more minute. We're now gonna revisit an activity we did in the first video, it's out, down, and rounds. You can just go, there's, well, there's two different ways of doing it, so I'll show you the first way, and then I'll show you the adapted way, pick which one is more comfortable for you. The first way, you're gonna go out, bring yourself down, arms up, and back up. Out, down, arms up, back up. I'll show you that from the side. So we're going to go out, down, arm up, and then sit up. So it's out, down, arm up, sit up. Okay? That's the first way of doing it. The adapted way of doing this is without the down. So you're just going out, dropping your arms down, up and round. Out, letting your arms come down, up and round. Out, down, up, and round. It's nice and easy. So we're just not engaging our backs at all. Show you that from the side. Go out, round, up, and down. Up, out, round, up, out, round, and down. Two really easy and adaptable exercises there. You can do either, you can do both if you wish but I want you to do that for 30 seconds, have a break, and another 30 seconds. Again, you can use weights, water bottles, or body weight, depending on what's comfortable for you. For our second to last activity, we're gonna be trying to open up our chests and our back. We're gonna start with the weights quite close to us, and just open ourselves out. Okay, keeping those elbows nice and high, and just opening up our chests and our back. You might feel this in your shoulders as well. It's quite a small movement, it can have quite a big impact on your shoulders, your back, and your chest. Just pulling those arms open. Nice, small, easy movement. I'm probably about two inches away from the front of my chest. I don't want to, you don't want to be all the way up here, opening your arms up. It's a nice, close movement. You can do this one arm at a time. I'm doing two. When I'm sitting up nice and tall, you can also lean against your backrest, lean back if you want to, and just open that chest out. Good work. It's 10 reps, three sets, that's 30 in total. If you're doing it one arm at a time, make sure you're doing those 30 reps total. For our last activity before we stretch, it's a nice simple one. Get yourself nice and relaxed. It's just going to be shoulder shrugs. Okay. Lifting those shoulders up, keeping our arms nice and straight. It's just nice, easy shoulder shrugs. Again, you can do this with weights, body weight. You can even do this one arm at a time, however you want to do it. Just 
shrugging those shoulders. Lovely. It's a super simple exercise, we can have really, really good benefits. I want you to do that for 30 seconds, have a break, and another 30 seconds. Depending on how you're doing, you can extend the time that you're doing it for, that's completely up to you, but I want you to aim 30 seconds, have a break, and another 30 seconds. Let's start off our first stretch with our arm out. We did this in the first one, we're going to link our fingers, okay, so our palms facing towards us, keeping our arm nice and straight, and we're just pulling back and stretching out that forearm, the lower part of our forearm. Going to hold that there. I'm going to switch over, do the same thing on the other side. Just linking our fingers with our fingers on our other hand and pulling back nice and straight again, keeping my arm nice and straight. Switching over, going to be pulling down on our hands now. Again, arm nice and straight, stretching out the top of our forearm. Switch over, pulling down. And shake it out. Gonna bring our arm across. We're not gonna pull on our elbow joint, it's just above it. Just bringing the arm across and bringing it into yourself. You should feel that stretch in your shoulder. Keep yourself nice and tall. You can lean back if you want to on your backrest. Drop it down and switch over. These seated exercises are quite heavy on your shoulders, on your biceps, on your arms as a whole. So it's good to stretch out afterwards after you've done any arm activity. Shake it out, arm over the top, holding down on the elbow and bringing our arm down our back, giving ourselves a pat on the back. Switching over, pulling down. and shake it out. That's the end of our stretches. If you want to do more of a cool down or more stretches at home, then please follow on after this video and do those extra stretches that you need to do. Thank you for taking part in today's activity. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you like this content, then there's more available on the Saracen Sport Foundation YouTube channel, including part one of the seated exercise videos. I want to take this opportunity to let you know that Saracen Sport Foundation is a registered charity and we need your support now more than ever. So if you've enjoyed this video and accessed any others, please follow the link below for how to donate to our foundation. I also want to let you know to pay special attention to government's guidelines around COVID-19 at this time to keep yourself and others safe. Thank you so much for taking part in this video today.